It's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, today we're going to be doing another harvest on the Vermi Bag Low Mammoth. All right, so I've got some more light in here, so hopefully we'll be able to see what is happening better this time than we did last time. So I'm just going to undo the zipper here and see what we get. It's, it's looking dry at the you know very bottom here but it's also not looking very finished so maybe my plan of harvesting every month is too ambitious because I don't think that this is in any way shape or form done so even though I've got this um, kind of plucked out here I'm going to finish this harvest, but then I think maybe we're going to move on to doing this every two months instead of every month. I'm slide this over here, bring you guys a little closer so you can see this side. And same story. We're still seeing things like, you know, corn cobs and bedding that is not in any way shape or form finished so maybe we need to uh, reevaluate the length of time in between so yeah but this is so much easier than the uh, urban worm bag it's it's ridiculous all right so that's what I got out of here show you a little so I'm willing to bet that when I when I screen this I will probably get about 50 percent which um, in the past when I let it go longer I get much more than that so I went ahead and, and did harvest this and maybe I should just put it right back in on top um, I don't really need the castings right now so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna just dump this back on the top on top of the feeding that we get them today all right let me rearrange everything here and we'll get them fed up okay we're back now take a look in on here and see what's going on the top okay we've got some Critters coming up to the top here. I did have a uh, fruit fly trap in here previously last week because it was getting ugly. Oop, there we go. Everything falls in from the harvest I just did. I think I'm just gonna. Oop, can I have a worm ball? not too bad but I think I'm gonna have to add a lot more water again um, definitely not I think I definitely am gonna have to add a lot of water not sure how long it's been maybe it's been two weeks since I've been in here okay well Let's get them some water and let's get them some food. Okay, first things first, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Um, this is very, very dry. I think it's the fabric of the bin. And the rain has finally slowed down around here. But uh, definitely going to get them a lot of water. I think I had about a half a gallon. Um, of RO water here so no chlorine no uh, fluorine or whatever fluoride that's what I mean so yeah this is a lot drier than it was the, even the last time that I was in here and I think I added quite a bit of water that time too um, I just need to Remember that these bag systems do not retain the moisture that the uh, the plastic bins do. And while I'm fluffing through here, I'm not seeing any of the food 
that I had left. So they've gone through all their food and all their water. So let's get them a good amount of food and then I'll put the harvest back in on top of the food and if need be add more water. Okay. What do we have? Looks like we got some avocados. You can tell these are way bigger than the avocados I normally have. I got these from Sleepy Lizard Guac Farm. Look at the size of that thing. Isn't that crazy? You can never buy anything like that here in Illinois. Alright. Looks like some coffee and tomatoes. Kiwis and yellow tomatoes. Then I've got some corn, corn husks. So these will be in here for a good long time. I think I'm probably going to have to put my fruit fly trap in there again as well. But let me get the, uh, the harvested stuff and put that back in here. Okay, that's also very dry, so let me go grab some more water. Okay, more water. Again, most of the time this is going to end badly if you pour this much water in. Um, and this is my upstairs bin, so I am flirting with disaster here in doing this, but there is going the harvest pan that we just dumped in here um, does sit under here so if I do have any drippings then it will definitely pick it up but uh, I've added over a gallon of water at this point that's ridiculous um, let me get them some moist bedding and maybe that will help us out okay here we go shredded cardboard that's been aged for a couple of weeks now and I do have the grit in here I'm not sure if you can see very well but there is grit um, and the African night crawlers go through quite a bit more um, bedding than the other kind of worms so I am adding quite a bit here but there we go. That should be enough for them. So we've added probably a gallon of food, a gallon of water, probably two gallons of bedding, which the African night crawlers will, you know, definitely use as food. But uh, that's all we're going to do with them today. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day. And there's my flight trap. Works pretty good. There's quite a few in there already.